fazia a soma. You must fast. And he gives us a law of fasting. وَكُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَكُمُ الْخَيْتُ الْأَبْيَلُ مِنَ الْخَيْتِ الْأَسْوَدِ مِنَ الْفَجْرِ ثُمَّ أَتِمُّ الصِّيَامَ إِلَى اللَّيْرِ Eat and drink during the nights of Ramadan. Eat and drink until the white thread, thread, you know what's a thread? You have a kite, you thread. The white thread of dawn is distinct from the black thread. And then you begin the fast. The, the day has begun when the, you can distinguish between the white thread and the black thread of dawn. I don't have to tell you, this is Mutashabiha. You know it. The, the one who you, the fellow who, the companion who put a white thread and a black thread underneath his pillow, a morning he picked it up and he's having difficulties. So he went to the Prophet, who then, he gave the ta'wil or the interpretation of the Quranic ayah. Nabi Muhammad, alayhi salatu waslam, he had the knowledge and he gave the ta'wil or, or the interpretation of an ayah mutashabiha. There are two kinds of verses in the Quran. The ayat which are muhkamat, plain and clear, no need for any interpretation. And ayat mutashabihat or verses which have to be interpreted. So he said, when Allah spoke of the white, white thread and the black thread, Allah is using symbolic language. What he means by that is when the light of the day is distinct from the darkness of the night, that is when the fasting will begin. So eat and drink in the night time until that moment when the light of the day is distinct from the darkness of the night. I met someone in Lahore, which reminds me that, mashallah, we now have a group uh, in Lahore who are sitting, listening to the lectures, and who have a discussion session afterwards. And we have one in Quetta, in Pakistan. And I'm so happy to announce that now there's a growing group in a in the city of Hyderabad in India, which is my Hamwatan, I, my, my, my great-grandfather, Pardada, uh, traveled from Hyderabad in India to, to Trinidad to about 200 years ago. Um, so I'm Hyderabadi, and I like the <laughs> Hyderabadi biryanis, the best in the world. Uh, so there is, a, there is a growing group now in Hyderabad which is uh, um, uh, meeting and listening to the lecture and, uh, and having a discussion session after. Well, that discussion session is more important. Uh, there's one going to start in Karachi uh, soon, and we already have one in um, Kuala Lumpur in, in Malaysia. When the uh, month of uh, Ramadan comes, eat and drink during the night time. So this fellow in Lahore said to me, and he is big like this. He says, Sheikh, Allah told me eat and drink. So I spend the whole night eating, eating and drinking all through the night. I'm not making fun of you if you are listening to me in Lahore, okay? It's just I found it amusing when he interpreted the Quran this way. No, Allah says, do not commit excess. No, don't commit excess. You must eat with moderation. Hmm? And the Quran also says, Ohilla lakum, laylat al siyami, rafathu ila nisaikum. It is also halal to have uh, uh, intimate relations uh, in the night, night of Ramadan. Ila nisaikum, with your woman, meaning the woman with whom it is lawful to have intimacy. Hmm? That's what the Quran is talking about. Those women with whom it is lawful for a man to have intimate relations. I don't need to expand on that because that's going to take much more time. This is a new law of fasting. Yes. 
This is the first time we are fasting like this. We've been in the city of Medina for 17 months now. This is Shaban. This is the second Shaban in Medina after the Hijra. We left Makkah. We came to Medina, in the Hijra. And we have been in Medina for 17 months. At that time, it used to be called Yatrib. And uh, we were also fasting in Medina. Yes. But we were fasting in accordance with the law which came down in the Torah. That's how we fasted for 17 months. And that law was different to this law. In that law, the fast would begin at sunset and continue all through the night and all through the next day until sunset. And during this period of time, from sunset to sunset, no food, no drink, and no intimacy, no sexual relations. That's how we fasted. And now comes down a new revelation in the Quran, which cancels or abrogates that previous law and replaces it with a new law. Allah refers to this in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah. And he says, بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ وَجِيمَ مَا نَنْسَخْ مِنْ آيَةٍ أَوْ نُنْسِهَا نَأْتِ بِخَيْرٍ مِنْهَا أَوْ مِثْلِهَا We do not cancel. We do not abrogate <coughs> any law which we send out nor do we cause it to be forgotten. The ayah here is a law. But that we replace it with that which is better or that which is similar. Notice I pause. Notice I'm speaking very slowly now. Why? Because Allah did not say, that we replace it with that which is different. <laughs> he said we replace it, the old law is replaced with a new